This is another Toonami video. I'm going to give my thoughts on this past Saturday's new Toonami lineup. My thoughts on Naruto returning to Toonami. And I'm going to talk about why, why I, I'm going to give more reasons why I am happy Toonami is back. Okay, first of all, as always, Bleach. Bleach starts it off. And as always, Bleach was awesome. Bleach has been really, really awesome ever since it entered ever since it finished the fillers, finished season 13, and entered season 14. This past, this past, um, Saturday's episode with Toshiro, Toshiro Hitsugaya fighting, keep forgetting who he was fighting, but him and a couple of Soul Reapers, a couple of the other Soul Reapers were fighting some new enemy, and it was awesome. This was an awesome episode of Bleach, an awesome way to start off with a start off Toonami, the start off Toonami for that night. Even the next show was surprisingly Tenchi, the new Tenchi, Tenchi GPX, I think that's what it's called, the new Tenchi Muyo show. Um, surprisingly, the last, last two, last, the last two, last, last week's episodes, I really didn't care for, but for some reason, this week's episode, this past Saturday's episode was good. The animation was surprisingly much better. And I was much more interested. This was a pretty good episode of T Tenchi GPX. I really hope they can keep it up and become better. Um. Also, um, I'm starting to warm up to um the Seven Samurai. Of course, I first heard about Seven Samurai back in 2006. Really didn't care for it until now that it's been now that it's on um Toonami. But I w first off, I was mad when they brought Samurai 7 to Toonami because it replaced Dead Man it replaced Dead Man Wonderland. But after watching a lot of the episodes, including this past Saturday's episode where that guy with the white hair I think he has a white well anyway that black guy, the dark skinned guy died. This show this show is awesome. I'm starting to warm up to it. This show for the past weeks it's been on has been freaking awesome. The fighting, the animation Everything has been awesome. Um, as always, I am happy Inuyasha is back. Nothing much to say there. Same with Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood is awesome as always. Nothing much to really talk about there. Nothing much to talk about there now. I'm going to talk about the three shows that for the past three weeks have recently debuted on the new Toonami lineup. Number one, the first show I'm going to talk about, which just made its return this past Saturday, is Naruto. I am so happy Naruto is back. You do not know how happy I was when I was checking the TV guide on my remote, and I saw Naruto. I even had to fix my eyes for a moment to make sure that wasn't um, a rib, or make sure I just wasn't seeing things, seeing what I thought I saw. But it was definitely Naruto, and... Oh my god, the first episode of Naruto was awesome. I, I am happy Naruto is back where it belonged. It sucks that in 2008, Naruto, because of fillers and that bastard Stuart Snyder, that Naruto got cut short when Naruto was, well, if you go back to the 2005 to, to, to the late 2008 era, Naruto, even in his dying times, were the best thing Cartoon Network, were one of the best things Cartoon Network had going for it, and Stuart Snyder just killed it all, just killed it all when he got rid of, um, Toonami, and then Disney, um, I enjoyed Naruto Shippuden when it was on Disney, but they didn't do any justice with it, they didn't want it, they just wanted it to, so they can get the fan base, who otherwise would watch their channel unless they had a big time franchise like Naruto, so I was really happy to it's here, but I have some criticisms. I have some small criticisms of it being here. I hope Naruto being here doesn't do what it did back in 2005 and 2008, and that's um distract from other shows. Because see, Naruto in 2005 and 2008, it was so awesome. No other show could compare to it except for Ben 10. No other show could really compare to it. So Naruto pretty much stole all the ratings and why win it it was an awesome show and it was kind of all cartoon network had see that's what i hate about having shows like naruto and dragon ball z dragon ball z is much worse because they were in a better era of cartoon network the 92 or should i say 97 to 2004 era 
where you had a lot of great shows and they stole and Dragon Ball Z stole ratings from a lot of shows and held shows down. Naruto did the same thing, but the shows that Naruto were going up against were going up against weren't as good as Naruto. So, um, yeah, I hope it doesn't happen here where Naruto where where people just watch Naruto and don't watch um anything else. And in this and Toonami ends up cancelled again. I'm pretty sure that won't happen, but you never know. Hopefully that um doesn't happen. Cause see, I, I actually wanted them, I actually wanted them to stay away from popular anime until they got Toonami to be as good as it was, to be as good as it was in the late '90s. I mean, in the early 2000s when it was the best, from like 2000 to 2003, Toonami when it was the best. I wanted I wanted them to stay away from new animes until they get back to the 2000 2003 eras of Toonami, which were probably Toonami's best um eras. Um, next is um, oh yeah, the next show I have to talk about is Thundercats 2011. First off, I love this show. You don't know how high, you don't know how I was I was amped and and excited for this show when I heard about it in early 2011. Everybody, including myself, were anticipating the release of the new Thundercats show. And when I watched it, it was nothing short of awesome. I thought Thundercats was that show Cartoon Network needed. Ever since Naruto left Toonami, they really, I mean, not ever since um, Naruto and Dragon Ball Z left, well, Dragon Ball Z got stale, Dragon Ball Z got stale, and Naruto left Cartoon Network. They've been in desperate need for that that awesome action that awesome action show that awesome action anime like show and th i thought thundercats was that new show was going to be that show ben 10 is technically that show but that's more popular with kids we need one we need a show like dragon ball z or naruto or even gundam a show that was popular with pretty much everyone and captured the hearts and imaginations of everybody ben 10 is popular with some adults, but that's mostly popular with kids. So, th but and I well going back to Thundercats, I watched every episode. I love that show. 2011, despite Cartoon Network, in my opinion, still sucking. 2011 and early 2012 were somewhat good years for Cartoon Network. But towards mid 2012, Cartoon Network started sucking, and it sucks now. And one of the reasons they suck is that they canceled Thundercats. In my opinion, I think it's a complete farce that Thundercats. Did it become, did it, did it shoot to the top? Did it become a record success, a rating success? Their, Cartoon Network is still deciding what they want to do with it. So they temporarily canceled and took it off. I'm glad it's getting another chance on Toonami to fight. To fight again. To fight again because I think it sucks. And I think it's a farce that Thundercats is not one of the highest rated shows now. It's clearly one of the better cartoons out there right now. Um... Next is Symbionic Titan, another underrated, awesome cartoon that was cut down way too short. This cartoon was awesome. It's one of Gindy's, in my opinion, best works. And just because they didn't sell enough toys, Cartoon Network pulled the plug on this show and canceled this show for some crappy, for some, for some show called The Problem Solvers and for some crappy show called The Amazing Role of Gumball. They com they they um canceled a Dexter Voltron Mecha like cartoon action Mecha like cartoon for some crappy out of Jimmy head out of out of Jimmy's head rip off and SpongeBob's rip off show called The Amazing World of Gumball and problem and some poorly animated show called The Problem Solvers Problem Solvers you serious. They canceled Symbionic Titan all because they didn't sell enough toys. Well, I'm glad it's getting another chance on Toonami. And hopefully, I does, do hope it becomes popular so Gindy can come back and finish it. Because he didn't say if he does, he, he is thinking about coming back to finish it. So, I hope it gets popular enough to the point where they can finish it. Um. Oh, yeah. Now, the last thing I want to talk about. Oh, yes. The last thing I want to talk about is, once again, people, I am happy Toonami is back. You don't know how happy I was May 26th when Toonami returned. To tell you the truth, people, despite my somewhat interest in anime, I am not going to lie to you. I absolutely, because of the fans and net and various networks, I absolutely actually hate, hate, hate anime. Hate anime. Um, Toonami somewhat 
restore my interest. Toonami somewhat restored my interest in anime with new shows like Dead Man Wonderland and Cash and Sins and Bleach finally finishing the fillers and getting back to season 14 and being rebranded on um Toonami. What, the, the reasons I, did, I, I, I kinda hate anime are number one, the fans. In my opinion, the fans, the fans, I hate the fans who treat anime like it's God's, who treat anime like it is, like it is God. I mean, they treat anime, they treat anime in Japan like they can't do any, like they can't do any wrong, and America sucks, so if it's an American cartoon, it automatically sucks, but if it's a Japanese animation cartoon, it's all of a sudden the best, it's all of a sudden the best, I'm sick of that arrogant attitude, and in my opinion, I think it's that arrogant attitude and that arrogance that anime is better than american cartoons has kind of ruined cartoon network and television in general there's several other reasons television has been ruined but i think that's one of the reasons television has been ruined the second reason i hate anime goes back to what i just said you have I, in my opinion you had awesome shows like he-man and the masters of the universe the 2002 series and the recent thundercats both of these shows were awesome reboots of the original but because they really weren't anime and were more american cartoons ne neither one of these shows really lasted so since and he man that show was the best show ever that show has strong writing strong animation but because it wasn't anime nobody really watched that show and so the show got canceled in 2004 when it was getting really, really good. And I hate that. I hate that that show never finished. All because of crappy ass anime. All because, of, and then more importantly, more important, and, and even when it comes to anime, it was Dragon Ball Z that pretty much killed off um He-Man. Yeah, an overrated anime like Dragon Ball Z. I like Dragon Ball Z. It was a cool, it was cool, it's a cool 90s cartoon and GT cartoon. But I hate everything Dragon Ball as a whole. Dragon Ball Z and GT were cool, and I like Dragon Ball Evolution, but I hate everything with Dragon Ball. I think they've held other shows down. I think they're overrated as fuck, and I think they suck. Suck like shit. But, um, yeah, I'm happy, um, but um, that's why I'm happy Toonami's back. They somewhat restored my interest um, in anime. Because like I said before, despite being a huge fan of anime, I absolutely detest and hate anime. Because of fans and because I'm sick of shows failing. I'm sick of shows failing. And finally, I didn't, I didn't mention this reason. The third reason I hate anime is the executives putting all anime on Saturday night putting all anime late on Saturday night, forcing me to stay up instead of going back old school adult swim where you gotta you where during the week, Monday through Saturday, Monday through Saturday, you got a heavy dose, you got uh you got a you got um you got the best of both worlds. You got a little bit of comedy and you got a little bit of anime from Monday through Saturday. But starting in 2008, all anime is on Saturday and I gotta put up with crappy comedy Monday through Sunday. Um, Monday through Sunday, and um, I hated that. I like the old way better. Same with Cartoon Network. On the Cartoon Network side of things, they only want to show anime like Bakugan, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, and pretty much these merchandise-driven shows. These shows that so that are just these anime shows that are just created to sell um merchandise. Beyblade, Bakugan. Bakugan and Yu-Gi-Oh! These shows, that's the only shows they want to show. They don't want to show any real anime. They want to show shows that are created to sell merchandise to kids that you can market towards kids. And I hate that. That's one of the reasons I don't really care much for anime anymore. But like I said before, so that's why I really don't like anime before, and that's why I'm really glad Toonami is back. Since Toonami's came back, they've renewed my interest in anime and showed me a lot of great anime like Cash and Sins, Dead Man Wonderland, the Seven Samurai. I'm starting to warm up to it. Show me this awesome anime and just and rebrand it and rebrand it Bleach, which I was kind of getting sick of because I got sick of the pointless filler, pointless filler interrupting the actual main story arcs. But um, yeah. So I'm happy Toonami's back. You know how happy I was, and and I just love the new Toonami block. I love the new design of Tom. I love the the theme song Toonami is back, bitches. I love um. I love seeing a promo for Gundam Wing, a DVD promo for Gundam Wing and Outlaw Star, and even Outlaw Star went briefly when it was on television on May 26th. I never thought I would see Outlaw Star back on television. 
not in any era, at least not in my time period. I didn't think I would ever see Outlaw Star back on television, nor did I ever think I would see an advertisement of Outlaw Star and Gundam Wing back on television. Also, the video game reviews are awesome. I love Tom reviews. His reviews are better than IGN or any of the gaming websites' um, reviews. It's actually because of Tom. I, I'm actually starting to um, somewhat. I still think the seventh generation video game console war sucks, but I'm actually starting to somewhat warm up to games because of Tom's awesome reviews, awesome interactive reviews. All right, Dog8798 out. So happy Naruto is back.